aqui. down three things about the song of the Lord. Number one, it is inspired by the Holy Spirit. It's not something that you can make up. All right? It's okay. You can sing praises. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you are faced with that situation and you need the song of the Lord, it will be a song, a song that you have never even thought of. A song that the Holy Spirit inspires. It could be in a dream. It could be while you are worshiping. That song will come to you and you will know is the song that the Holy Ghost has given. Secondly, it's not for your entertainment, it's for deliverance. And thirdly, songs arouse, the song of the Lord arouse a new season in your life. Dear brothers and sisters, if you look at the Bible, people who sang new song, people who sang new song, you will see they take some action as well. They take some steps. That's why God has sent this word. When He sent the word like that, the spirit of that word will be moving around. It will be all over the house, will be all over the environment where that word is being spoken because it is called the word of God. And don't forget, the word of God is His spirit. So the God that has sent a new song this morning in the name of Jesus, he will form a new song in my mouth and your mouth in the name of Jesus. God said, if you open your mouth wide, I will fill it up. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. One of the things that make you sing a new song is that you don't shut your mouth. It's important that you understand the reason and the purpose for something that which is given. The law was given to make sin sinful, to show sinful man that apart from God, we can never be holy in our own strength. Amen. Amen. Grace says God is giving us his righteousness, his love, his peace, his healing, all based upon someone else. Amen. And his Amen. name is Jesus. Grace is supply for every challenge, every situation. Amen. The law is demand. Grace is supply. You have to have an understanding that in this season and the season to come, you are not living in your own strength. You're living by the strength of another. You're living by the strength of Jesus. Amen. What does that mean for you and I today? Peter and John were not only men of God, they were men of prayer. And the only way you can be a man or woman of God is to be a man or woman of prayer, amen? Is to understand that God answers prayer. And prayer is not a religious exercise to be obeyed. Prayer is a grace gift to be received. Oh, God.
is indeed love. When if you know that you know all that you've heard, or that you're very sure of it, that God loves you, I think it's okay to relax. It's okay to bounce. It's okay to bask in that love. God we serve would always stay with you. Through thick and thin, when you're popular, when you're not, when you're rich, when you're poor, God just loves us. I think that's the God we should always hold on to. That's the God that we should trust. That's the only person we should hold on and trust in. I'm praying for you that no matter what, how bad the situation may look right now, but in this seventh month of our, of our new song, everything will turn around in your favor in the name of Jesus. Even in the midst of your situation, and you will be set free from that captivity in the name of Jesus. My prayer for that person that you prayed for earlier is that the Holy Ghost will inspire the song of the Lord in their heart to set them free this month in the name of Jesus. That what is that situation of your life that you have been battling with all this while? What is that thing that you see that seems like it's an impossibility in your life? What is that thing that is causing you to run from one conference to another conference, from one mountain to another mountain, from one doctor to another doctor, from one connection to another connection? My word for you today is settle down with God and let God take care of your matter. God has put a new song in my mouth. Sing it, please. God has put a new song in my mouth. Oh, oh. a song of joy, a song of victory. God has put a new song in my life. You better, you better declare it. When God gives you opportunity to declare it, you can unmute if you have opportunity to sing the song. Yes, God has given a new song in my mouth. God has put a new song in my mouth. Oh, a song of praise, a song of victory. God has put a new song in my mouth. You will not sing the song of luck again in the name of Jesus. You will not sing a, of, a, 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 a song of failure again in the name of Jesus. Area where you have failed before, because a new song has been formed in your mouth, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we worship you, we give you glory, we thank you for this word God has spoken to us. We pray it will break it down to the level of understanding of every word of God. He will not speak against you. He will not stand against me. We pray because this song God has spoken. Do we have anyone that wants to hinder that song? Let the strength of that word, let it, Lord, in the name of Jesus, let it, Lord, let it deal with that person in the name of Jesus. Let it deal with that spirit. We will all come down. We will all come back with a great testimony. Everyone Jesus. lift your hands to heaven and say this with me. Say, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. And his mercy. And his mercy. Endures forever. Say it one more time. Say, Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. And your mercy. And your mercy. Endures forever. Endures forever. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your presence. We yes. acknowledge your presence, Holy Spirit. We thank you that apart from you, we have nothing. But with you, Jesus, we have everything. Yes. We thank you, Jesus, that it's not by might nor by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. And the eyes of the Lord search to and fro, searching throughout the earth to show himself strong on someone's behalf. We thank you, Jesus. That the Bible says, I has not seen, nor has ear heard, nor has entered into the hearts of men the things that God will do for those who love him. Yes. That you do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ever ask or even imagine according to your power that works within us. That is the power of your Holy Spirit. One of our... Uh... Wow. One of a very close uh, friend of the ministry said the Lord averted a fire outbreak in their house. He is thanking the Lord. A very close friend of the of this ministry from Nigeria he said God averted a fire outbreak in my in his house. Let's thank God for him. Give God all the glory. Thank God that is not singing a song of sadness, a song of sorrow today. You know the Lord prevent you know protected them from a fire outbreak we are thanking the lord they just sent it in from facebook well anyway i was talking about the kids you know i just wanted to thank god for their you know their performances during the past year 
you know, we shouldn't take that for granted. You know, it's not every child that goes to school and perform well. Some people struggle and struggle and struggle to, to, to learn. And I just want to thank God for, for wisdom of God for these ones. It's not something that my wife and I, we, you know, uh, we, we can take credit for, but it's the Holy Ghost, you know, that is always helping them, even when sometimes, sometimes they may have a little problem here and there, but the Holy Ghost steps in to help them out. So I want to thank God for this past school year, and I'm believing God that in the next school year, they will do much better than they did in this past year, in the name of Jesus. recap and you had a wonderful wonderful month you know what we're looking forward to you joining us for the glorious and awesome next month why don't you join us every saturday at 11 a.m est or 4 p.m gmt you don't want to miss out on what's coming up next month i pray this coming month will be glorious for you and your family and you'll have a testimony to share as well in jesus name <music>